Hey everybody, this is your host, Living Dead Cat, and I've got another episode of the Art and Mental Health stream tonight. Today is the first Tuesday of the month, so we have general discussion. That's pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be mental health because taking a break from that is also a good thing. Don't forget to follow and turn on notifications if you want to keep track of any of the streams. First off, I'm going to say hello to everybody in Discord. Hi Gray, hi Squishy, and hi Steph. How are you doing? And everybody says hello to you. Hello. This isn't scripted. It's about us to say hello now. <laughs> I promise we're not scripted. So, uh, hmm. first off. Laugh and agree. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to read that out loud? Oh, the secret's out. Hello. Which page are you on, Chef? I'm on six. <laughs> I'm well, already... Mine are all out of order. I've right, already sped read to page rehearsed. 42, and I found the secret of the universe. We'll be better rehearsed next week. I told you <laughs> not to use a miter clip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First off, let me give out uh, some shout-outs here. Spanner in the works. It was their birthday on the 4th. So happy birthday, Spanner. And also, thank you for getting me into streaming. The Tower of Issa for creating my wonderful avatars. Uh, Tay Appleby for the banner, Kit Sway for the digitization of the DPS Studios logo, and of course, DPS or Dragon Panther Studios. Check them out at dragonpantherstudios.com. Check out my alter ego, <coughs> Kit Dreadbane, on Saturdays and Sunday mornings for silent streams, and then randomly throughout the week. Also, Thursday nights at 8.30 for game night by the Sanctuary. Speaking of the Sanctuary... Oh, I get honorable mentions, huh? You always get honorable mentions. <laughs> it's your Discord's channel that's helping provide some coverage for this anyway. I like to think of it as our Discord channel. Eventually, I will agree. <laughs> when I become Eventually. a bigger part of it. But uh, I have also included a link in the chat for anybody who wants to join on Discord. It, Discord. it is in 18. Disclaimer, 18+. plus. Yes, it is an 18 and up channel, so unfortunately, uh, if you need to reach out to me personally to vent or anything like that and you're underage, then you can reach me through any of the links on my QR code, which is right there on the screen. Check it out, I have a new QR code, it's on the screen. It also has my Amazon wish list in case anybody is feeling extra generous, and I will include the cost of any materials purchased into a discount for the any eggs that are purchased as well okay that's enough of that so <laughs> take a breath take a breathe take a breathe so let's get right to it tonight i'm going to be working on some other eggs but first i wanted to show you this one This one, I ran out, obviously. I'm waiting for more to come in. Uh, Dragon Panther Studios has been very kind enough to supply some funds for more supplies. And this one turned out looking pretty cool. It's got a bit of an Iron Man-esque coloration to it, and I can't wait to finish it. And this happy little guy is going to have three separate patterns, depending on how you have it turned. So that'll be cool. And of course, it's black light. So that'll be fun too. I'm also going to put some gems on that one. Oh, speaking of gems, these rhinestones I got, the newest ones, check this out. Some of these, well, it's hard to tell here, but some of them respond under a black light. Let me turn this light off. These right here, and this one over here, and this one. So that'll be fun to add on to this as well. So, just one for a moment. Excuse me, I'm getting some interruptions here. One moment. So I'm looking at houses right now. Sorry about that. I'm back. 
You said you were looking at houses right now? Yeah, well, we're getting closer to the finality of uh, the whole divorce thing. Yeah, it sounds uh, less enthusiastic than it should be. Well, just to kind of update on the drama that's been going on, we're getting closer to uh, when me and Mom can go and get our stuff out of the house. Problem. I don't want him there. Okay, I'm turning down the stream. I'm getting echoes. <laughs> uh, prop, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but looking at houses, and I was hoping the housing market uh, would crash sooner so we could get a deal. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds terrible, but but we're broke. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Uh, I am sorry. Some someone very special to me just gave me a phone call, so I've been on mute for the last few minutes. Did I miss anything important? Nope. That's the usual. We can talk about PS2 and how awesome of a system that was. I actually just dug mine back out of the closet exclusively for a game called Pro Galaxy. That's a good one. That's a real good one. One of the very early level fives. Yeah, you probably, know. Out of all the systems that I have, that's probably the one that gets played the most. Yeah. Anyone listening in on chat or elsewhere, Level 5 is a video game developer that's later known for the Professor Layton series of puzzle games on DS and perhaps even more known for the Nino Kuni series. Mm. The third one that just released is apparently all a cast grab, however, and can't be easily ignored. But they are some of the better known little RPGs for a little while on PS3 and 4 and similar consoles and systems. Oh, and that's kind of why I mentioned the system, because back in the day, it was a lot harder to do a cash grab, you know? Well, there was no room to put online services on those sort of systems, therefore there's no such thing as a DLC. And therefore, it behooved the game makers to make the whole game. Uh, I, I, uh, for Star Wars Battlefront 2, I, I got to download you know, Jabba's Palace. Hmm. Did you do it through the PS2? Yeah. I did have an Ethernet cable, but it didn't have any online uh, wireless services. Yeah. No, uh, it, it was harder for, well, there was more quality games that were coming out instead of a lot of the crap that gets pushed on us now. Mm -hmm. Like, you had to make a good game or you were going to take a loss. Right. And, you know, there's a give and take on each generation of gaming. I mean, before even the concept of an internet, we had to just decide whether or not a game is good by cover art sometimes. And we got suckered into a lot of bad games as kids. Does anybody remember LJN? Yep. It's an entire uh, game, video game development company. We got every one of us got suckered in at least one of us. That's I been. I believe that your microphone is not exactly working tonight. Actually, I think it's catching your reverb. I'm on my phone. That would be why. <laughs> Sorry. Sounds Hi, a lot better now. Hello. Hello. Give us away from video games, fast. What do you got for us? <laughs> not, not a whole lot. He of has asthma. No, it, it it no 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 no. My brother, <laughs> my brother had that. I have allergies from my uncle's dog, hence why I sound like a damn rock tumbler. <laughs> rock fighter. <laughs> I don't know. Gravelly voices can be sexy. They can be. Yes. You sound yeah. like you've been sound like you've been hanging around uh, Snoop Dogg a little too much today. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, and you went to Brooklyn. Awesome. Uh, no. No. It's rather annoying. Um, I know. I was, uh, was going to say, yeah, LJN is the stuff of nightmares. Like, Jesus. 
Anybody who grew up in the Nintendo generation right now just had a flashback, like Vietnam style. I think they only made like, I don't know, I'd have to go back. Like, there's like one game that they made was that was legitimately good that the angry video game nerd found, which blew my mind. I think they made one baseball game that was tolerable. Uh, something like that. They also made uh, wrestling toys. The old uh, WWF superstar toys that are mm. worth stupid amounts of money now. Well, certain ones. No but, idea uh, why. I had a few of those. They broke easy. Oh my gosh. Like you look at them wrong and the arm would fall off. There's a places called movie trading companies around here that keep toys like that used and ready to go. As well as just a few used toy stores for that sort of thing. Yeah. <sighs> Other than that, I'm just stupid tired right now, and uh, yeah, I hate the sound of my own voice, so I'm going to shut up for a while. <laughs> okay. Really? Because I was thinking you should talk more. <laughs> it further, you know. No. <laughs> uh, I would, except for the part where it, re- it, it it's annoying in my own head. Plus, it kind of hurts a little bit, so yeah. When everybody hurts... Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you... You know what? Get him. Get him, Bash. Not today. Let's take man to, to stay down until he's well, and then remember that occurs the next time someone else is there. Yeah, by all means, come and get me. I got a creek right next to me that's full of pollen. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> all I have to do is, you know, run against the wind. <laughs> so I... so mean. <laughs> Was last kid, so okay, case I, he knows I love him. Yeah, yeah. I love to hate all of you guys too. You little honey bun. Yeah. Let's try uh, if possible. If your voice feels like laughing at all, we can try Jackbox later. <laughs> I think somebody. But it is a good huh? set. It is a good set of games. I like it. Oh, yeah. Just, just a tad bit addicted, right? Speaking of which, Nico here was one of the last people to play Jackbox with me, and she was amazing. Oh. Hello. How goes it? Hi, Nico. Hi, it Katie. goes. <laughs> Did I mention that Nico wafers are some of my favorite candies? <laughs> Nico wafers is amazing. Go to your corner. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was about to say, are you serious right now, Chef? Because uh, those wafers are disgusting. I kind of like them, okay? Everyone's allowed to like something bad in their lives. I, I get that. Like, Why do I hang out with you guys? Aww. I mean, I wouldn't call hanging out with us Neko, Neko wafers, but okay. I would call y'all bad influences in all the best ways. <laughs> Right, I would call good. hanging with us the equivalent of a deep fried uh, Snickers at the state fair. It possibly could kill you. Yes, but oh, so thank delicious. you. But very delicious. Uh, I don't like Snickers, so uh, you oh, y- y- y'all have fun with that. What? But you put up with that. I mean, if, I mean, if you don't like Snickers, why do you keep putting us in your mouth? <laughs> Family friendly stream, Gray. I did not say anything. That I talked about stickers going in people's mouths. Oh, we didn't even start describing what stickers looked like. It could have been worse. No. We won't. We won't. We won't. Notice I haven't cursed once. It's hard. I'm having like convulsions here. <laughs> Who was he talking about that? What are we doing right now, guys? Seriously, you know, discussion doesn't matter what we're talking, what. It's a, yes, we're just talking, talking. Night, y'all are doing, but I'm trying to figure out. Hey. It basically is family time without any toxicity, mostly. <laughs> there you go. What's that like? <laughs> yeah, yes. what's that like? That's a really good question. <laughs> it is almost, I almost have a family that's like that, with one major exception everyone but me is Kristen. Mm. 
they're at least the kind of Christians that will always go out and do charities and works and help out the communities like every freaking day. They're the only ones that actually get it right almost. But they still don't understand why I won't go to church. Dude, well, by all means, yeah, I mean, I can go, but I hope they don't mind having a smoldering rubble for my effects. <laughs> no. Alrighty, that's like that that's scene that. in John Wick where the woman calls, like, this place is now deconsecrated. What's a better laundry detergent, Tide or Cheers? Tide. Huh? Tide, take it from me. Changing As the guy who's... As a guy who says this game breaks out on everything, Ty's one of the few things I can wash my laundry in that will never, ever mess me up. I did not know that. Game too, because that's what I use on your stuff. And one of the few others. So far, I haven't had any breakouts, but there you go. But Tear, okay. the other one you were just saying? Yeah, that, that screws me up every time. On today's episode of Chef's Epidermis... <laughs> you asked it. You asked a practical question. You get a practical answer. There's my practical answer. <laughs> and apparently, a discount duck. Damn. Wait, what? I'll discount. be grateful, y'all over there. Jesus, I can't stand myself tonight. <laughs> I'm not Mexican. Of course, I'm not Mexican. I was a Mexican. I, I didn't even. Nico, uh, hey, hey, quiet for now. Oh, yeah. Hi. Well, you can hear her. Can you hear me now? Ah! I can. <laughs> okay, now I gotta turn you down. <laughs> Don't do that with her. <sighs> Sorry, I'm talking with Bay about comida. Oh? No, 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 Jasper. No, I'm painting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm orange neon nails. That's okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 uh, but I could yep. hear Tata. Are you okay with me, Tata? Yeah, baby. I just said I love Mexican. We're Mexican. <laughs> it seems you have a story to tell, though. However, please do so. Bottle. I talking to me. Yes. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh. I'm trying to figure out food, so Bay and I are talking. He's not very hungry, so mm. he wants Smoothie but, King. But but, but I all need men are like, food. I could eat, even after eating a seven-course meal. Yeah, all I'm not food. feeling like, okay, let's get in the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the problems with my life. But if he's not that hungry, what are you thinking? Well, I want Panera, <sighs> but it's a little bit further of a drive to go get it. You know, pretty word of God, Nico, I'm going to have to take you to the grocery store, aren't I? Bro, it's like real. We're trying to get groceries, but like life. But no, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I get you. It's, it's hard sometimes. Yeah, especially yeah. when, you know, one meal or excuse me, two meals cost you $80 these days. No fucking no. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to get you a uh, get you one of those uh, those edit buttons for your stream, Kitty. There's like at least a five second delay going on here. Family friendly stream right now. Uh, <laughs> I want you. I want you to do a favor there, Nico. Yes, sir. In general chat, go ahead and or you can send it to me privately. Send me your email. That way, I can send you a few of my favorite easy recipes that my oh, now cheap, quick, and yeah, you got them. This may blow your mind, but the man we call Chef is a chef. Oh, can you believe it? Yeah, but if you get if you feel good with the old recipe books, that's fine then. No, we love we no no we we, we want recipes. Um, oh. Chef wants to send us some recipes, baby. Oh, yeah, send, send an email. Uh, that's the quickest because they might I have them bookmarked in my phone to my favorites. Actually, a chef. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah, uh, and I I know some fast ones fast. The uh, shrimp and the penne that you did on Sunday. Yeah. No, uh, ignore that email, that chef. Delicious. You ignore still that. have a TWU account? Yep, and they haven't canceled me yet. Let's see. <laughs> where did, no, where did you send, send your me. email to? Send it to my husband's email. Just kidding, because he's the one that cooks in my house. Okay, uh, where did you send the actual email link? Uh, privately or in a general discussion? Oh, it's in a general discussion. Okay, got it. Uh, I'm sorry, general. I think it's general game. That's where I default usually. Yeah. Oh, games? Cool. 
Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Send it to his. The second one you sent? Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all go ahead and keep talking. This only take a few minutes. You're good. Tell you, as far as like recipes, you ever go uh, go to a half price and find the oldest recipe books you can? At some point, I feel like uh, maybe during the 40s and 50s, it was like half of the recipe was nothing but butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we actually did go to half price to get uh, a new recipe. Something like that, yeah. Well, there was that, and there was also um, a lot of casseroles and gelatins. <laughs> Yeah, yeah like that's savory, also very weird. Savory jello molds is, is disturbing. Like I know, right? Like the bologna Yeah, I don't ones. I don't understand that. Like was it just because Tupperware was such a thing in the fifties and it was like No, uh, no, so just make jello out of everything. It, it was more of a deal because of um a lot of the uh depression stuff that happened. Oh and uh gelatins was kinda like the <laughs> It's disgusting, but it was the cheapest casserole you could make. Yeah, no, I get that. It's just like, it's like making like what? Soup. Um. Oh God, what's that one? What's that one Jello one that always gets brought up and gets like the thrown cream. around? Um, the like salad. the sh- yeah, that one. Yeah, the salad one. I'm gonna pull my crew real quick. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Huh? What up, yo? Should I do fajita quesadillas or should I do queso enchiladas or yes. Tex-Mex enchiladas? Yes. Okay. I'm going to say Tex-Mex? actually <laughs> Hold on, hold on. May I recommend actually the fajitas because they use skillets? I don't know any enchiladas that you can't make. And do you really want to heat up your home by turning on the oven today? I think they're no, I'm talking about um, we're ordering. <laughs> oh, what you're ordering? Then. That is a good question, though. I, we, we already went through this. She has to go to the store. She hasn't been to the store. Yeah. Well, fine. Let's we'll see how it is. <laughs> uh, we're using that accent, are we? We are. I do declare. You know what? You know what? I have just for that, you're more than welcome to send me an enchilada recipe. Um, don't I think have I have one booked right immediately, but I, I might. Have a couple, I'll send them your way. And I, I wouldn't make enchiladas in your home. It's too hot. Takes four hours for one person to make, but it feeds you for <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Okay, let me book. I got my chicken enchilada recipe here. So, what's the decision? Are we doing Tex Mex, which is meat sauce and cheese? That's my vote. Is That's what I would say too. <laughs> I voted for all three. <laughs> well, we know you would. I mean, I would too. I'm just saying. I'm gonna do the text mix because it has business. Jeez, as well. Hold on, let me grab my Lipton tea. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> oh, chef, you left your tea. I know. Go ahead and finish it, or send it to someone else. I. I did that on purpose. Who likes tea? I can't sweet tea, tea, specifically. I can't. Just to go I don't to like the pre-sweetened stuff. It's always too sweet. Yeah, that's why I like the red leaf, the really cheap one, because it's actually not that sweet. Not to, not really. So, for that reason. So, yeah, great. Yeah. Come over and try it, see if you like it, and then you can have it. We are going okay. to discuss pre-sweetened. That's true. <coughs> so, these are the recipes I have bookmarked off of allrecipes.com. That's my favorite. Ooh. Ooh. And I just sent that email, okay? Well, Chef, do you have any originals? I only started playing around with some stuff before. The other day, I had some chicken and I had some penne. And so I just threw that all together with what I knew would be Mediterranean-tasting garlic and red wine, white wines, stuff like that. And it was pretty good. It's very similar to the shrimp one I made for Kit while I was over there. It was just without a recipe. I just threw it together. I've got lots of non-recipe it, foods. It would appear that Mediterranean has become my overall especialité, or however you want to say it to be stupid. Especialité. Uh, sure, why not? Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Was that even English? 
No. I still need no. to go over to Cafe Medi. Yes, Cafe Medi is amazing. Ooh, what is that? That is one of my big inspiration spots. The whole restaurant row up and down that little stretch of street, but that one spot in particular. Uh, we need to go down to Zorba's one night and uh, just... I try that. Ah, I've heard of them. I don't think I've had the pleasure. We should all just do like a giant friendship date and go eat food together. Just make sure we call the restaurant ahead of time. They like yeah, that sort of thing. That we yeah. all have enough money for. <laughs> right. There will be yeah, that's per- I mean, we're supposed to do that outing for the sanctuary, and I'm like looking at my wallet, yeah. weeping over the dust bunnies that are collecting. <laughs> there was actually a moth in there that was asking for change. <laughs> wow. That's not bad, mate. Hey, that's why we were going to invade some place where, you know, we didn't have to pay for. We could all chip in for pizza or whatnot. Is that... Where did that come from? Okay. <laughs> Wait, that was God. I know. <laughs> I are confused. Frank that cat. <laughs> oh, then we're halfway there. See, that's the first step of Ash. First, we, he's confused that he's broken. <laughs> Just please tell me we're living off of more than a prayer. I knew that was coming. Oh, oh God Almighty! Really? Oh, oh, we're there. We're getting there. Uh, <laughs> getting close. On a <laughs> yeah, what are you started? <laughs> this is a good way to force this whole entire stream to end early. No, nope, no. See, now I have an idea for Kitty Stream. We need to make a Vasho meter. Oh no. <laughs> No, I put my phone in. Oh, you guys are so mean. Like, well, how can we be sure that this guy doesn't overuse his voice tonight? We really are putting a thing on. So many drinks. I've been pretty there's good about being why I have a, There's a reason why there's a water bottle next to me. Oh, so you can. I'm going to recommend some hot honey tea as well. Well, obviously that. that yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting getting. for the spit take Green around tea. the microphone. Wait, what? Nothing. Huh? Nothing in my foot. I don't know uh, what you're talking about. Did she say something? I didn't quite catch it. Nope. I heard a squeak off in the distance. I think uh-huh. it was a faint meow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Besides, it's here in the <laughs> script. Uh, Vash.exe crashes. <laughs> it's your cousin. <laughs> oh, Boston. Ah, Dragon Panther Studios is in the chat. Hello. They say hello, gorgeous chat goers. What's up, guys? Uh, I got a question. Why aren't you in here? <laughs> right? Probably doing something family related. It's cool. One of us. Oh, probably, One but, you know, I still got to give them some grief. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They have a pretty big fam- loving family, all things concerned. All things considered, <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Spell it! Who, me? What? I don't want to spill it. I'll get pain everywhere. Goddamn. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm the one who broke the fasting stuff. Quarter. No. <laughs> Dude, if I ever actually institute a swear jar on the stream, I'm going to go broke. <laughs> you go broke. I'm just saying, why don't you just pump it up to PG-13? I can get away with more there. It's either family-friendly or mature. There's no in-between options on Twitch. Mm. <coughs> now that song Twitch. stuck in my head. Twitch be annoying like that. <laughs> well, we're a family, and most of the time we're friendly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Be friendly and perverse. (laughs) (sighs) Considering the subject of the stream, I want it to be available for everybody. I could be artful and perverse. (laughs) (laughs) Especially people who are not allowed to chat in the Discord because they are underage. Hmm. By the way, it's a good SAT word for you. <laughs> SATs. Oh, mighty. Yeah, no, I, you want to talk about sweaty palms. 
Mm. Now you want to talk about sweaty palms. Man, my hands was sweating today when I was trying. Uh, I was uh, waiting in line for my first work call. Ooh. Oh no, I was I was looking at the at the queue and I was like, it's almost Ashley's turn. I wonder how much she's freaking out. Oh, I was hoping she was like with you today, but I'm guessing not. Nope. Okay. Well, it seemed like she had it because she did multiple calls today. I only really got to two. What the heck happened to this house? Sorry, I'm looking at houses, and this one looks like it went through a flood, and I'm surprised it's even on the market. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this in here. That I cannot believe that they're trying to sell this for this price. All right. I... Radical rodent. When is I'm just going to po post minute. it in general, general. If you want to be in here and talk, you can talk, talk on the stream, and you can share your feelings about whatever. Yeah, come on in. 18 plus. Everybody's asking if you want to join in. No? Okay, then you're going to have to go in the other room, okay? <laughs> yeah, y'all open up that I link there. You tell me how can they justify this. I think I see somebody we were hoping to see tonight. We were just talking about them. Hello. <laughs> ah, there's a lot. Hey, there's Panther. Yeah. <laughs> He's alive. Hi, Sorry, I was taking care of some business over here, but all the There's a radical rodent in my chat. Hi, how you doing? I need to like move Discord so I can see the chat. Please. We need to get you a uh, get you a second computer just for streaming. I need a bigger desk to have room for a second computer. So I'm, I got plenty of uh, of uh, storage boxes you could stack on each other. Just <laughs> y'all. Hey, the economy is have... tough right now. We work with what we got. When <laughs> and I moved into our first apartment, we didn't have a TV stand, but we had a TV. No lie, we literally stacked up this giant TV, and it was a rear projection on four boxes. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I know that particular struggle. Right now, I have a 300-pound TV that's on the floor because there's not a whole lot that could support that. Yeah, no joke. No, that was a TV. Hey, um, so the thing about CRT TVs, honestly, the blacks are better, the colors are better. And I mean, it can run at 1080i, so I mean, that's a pretty good win in my book. And yeah, so handsome. And, and for you. anybody in the stream who wants to join us on Discord, I'm going to go ahead and post this in here. Tonight is general discussion. 18 and older is allowed in the Discord server. So we'll hop on in and say hello. For anybody in the chat who's too young to know what a CRT TV is, it was a giant box. <laughs> that we watch TV through glass. Oh, you're so sweet. And in the older days, we had these two metal antenna that we had to move around to get a picture. <laughs> yeah, we had to light a few candles and make a sacrifice and hope that the signal stayed. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. So wait, direct TV? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh man i that, had that direct tv awesome. when it first came out and yo it said for the most part it was fine until a light breeze would come around <laughs> right not a medium breeze just a <sighs> light breeze <laughs> just a what, what whisper of a breeze just a not even oh, no. like a rumor of a breeze <laughs> radical said oh, didn't they use puppets back then yeah, that's pretty low there, bud. Pretty well, low. Yeah, if they stood any higher, you could see the hand. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm losing tonight. That's just good. I'm, I'm proud of you for one upping me the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we listen to music through rocks and sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go jump in a lake. Wait, wait, wait. There were rocks. Hey, that was actually entertainment before the internet. We needed to use fire and a blanket in order to make a cell phone call. What was that, Squishy? I said, wait, wait, wait. There were rocks back then? <laughs> <laughs> Hot 
Radical's a huge Muppets fan. You remember them? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yes, Squishy, we had rocks, and they were analog. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the sticks were. <laughs> those, those were much bigger. Uh, I could totally pull... so much fun tonight. I love it. <laughs> I could totally pull a Zenial thing and be like, what's the analog? <laughs> when we did have internet, whenever you started it up, it was angry at you. It sounded like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. Just, eh! <laughs> and they chime. Rocks, you bang them together and they make music. Yeah. Social media was called Paying on the Walls. <laughs> That's graffiti for those that don't know. <laughs> now, see, the social media, and Kenny, you'll remember this the social media for uh, our particular generation was going to your local uh, light pole and seeing who was playing. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite things about those movies was going to the library. That was that a was cool place to hang out as a kid. Slow mo Google. Was Walmart. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> well, Walmart was a freaking event, man. They had lobsters and video game samples all over the place. Yep. Yep. See, uh, here in Carrollton, we didn't have a Walmart till I want to say like 2000. Something like that. What? No, that's not right. That's right. Well, I know because Pepsi Blue was new. <laughs> Bro, we had a Walmart in the 90s when I was a small child. Come on now. No, I'm not saying it didn't exist, but uh, the one uh, over here in Carrollton, uh, the first one that we had was off of what became, what was newly the extended part of Frankfurt and Marsh. Yeah, that great big one that's there now. Yep. The original was over off Trinity. Was off Trinity. <laughs> okay, look, just because he couldn't go that far as a kid. I had a bike. I'm not going that far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair, but I'm just saying the original was off Trinity and, and old Denton. Now that's old school. The building is still there. It's something else, but yeah, that was the original Walmart in town. You're just making us all feel old. Oh, wait, no, I, I know what building you're talking about uh, because I remember being in there. It smelled like mold yeah. and something dead. Yep. <laughs> well, it's Walmart, so. Sorry, somebody swallowing a rag. What? Hi, Alex, by the way. Yeah. Hello, lovelies. Hello. Hello. Is that a Gallic? Hello. Hello. Si, si, senorita, it is. <laughs> How did you know? Hello, Juanita. You have your name, but no, whenever someone moves their mouth. Stop, stop. You're oh, well I, well, I guess I need to change stop. mine then. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what kind of topic do you want for general discussion tonight, Alex? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you're one, been... you're one too much from us, to, uh, Chef. You really are. <laughs> Plans? What? What? Um, I don't even know what all was said so far, because I just got here, so. Yeah, we talked about Walmart. Oh, I love Wally World. We talked about <laughs> PlayStation. We talked about Direct TV. Oh, I used to own one of those. Which one? The regular PlayStation. The first PlayStation <laughs> that came out. There we go. Still got mine. Uh, I wish I still had mine, but unfortunately, I was told that I had to give it to, away to a less fortunate kid because I had a different system. I had the actual. I had an Xbox too. Uh, as as well as the regular PlayStation, but I was forced to get rid of my PlayStation. Uh, so I had, yeah, no I had a parents that tried to do that to me, and I was like, nope, I'm hoarding all my systems. <laughs> yeah, see, I had black godparents, so that wouldn't, fly, that wouldn't fly at all. They would be like, oh, see, now you need to repent. Go, you, you need to read the Bible. This and you know, I would have looked at them like, it has nothing to do with the video game. So... <laughs> 
We got full circle here. Did anybody else feel that? <laughs> yeah, I felt it. Hey, I can confirm this. I, I can confirm what she's saying is true. It's all good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that is like, yeah. oh. So the little one kind of fell out of out of daddy's head and hit arms and uh, hit the back of his head pretty hard, but Ooh. he's fine. Yeah, he's fine though. He's he kind of has a stumble wumbles, but other than that, he's pretty much fine. He's not, you know, trying to nod off or fall asleep or anything like that. So also side effect, he can now read minds. <laughs> <laughs> that would be lovely. <laughs> that would be great. Oh my god, that's stink. Oh gosh. Have you ever tried has anyone ever tried any of those like um things that you that removes toxins from your like from the bottom of your feet yeah. and like you say dude i just peeled off i was supposed to wait 24 hours but i was like it was hurting the sole of my foot so i was like okay i gotta take them off i can't i can't i could only do a little a couple, like a little bit at a time and it pulled out a good bit and i'm like the smell is horrific <laughs> i thought that those things were a scam no no they're not they're actually very uh useful I don't know, man. I've been walking around barefoot my whole life, and I've never used one of those, and my feet are fine. So, yeah, I mean, I'm well, no, kind of the same way. No, and it just pulls the toxin out of your body through your that's feet. What your liver's for. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 not a thing. Your your toxins. You're not a you're not a literal swine, so your toxins don't leave out of your hooves. You know, like a pig does. <laughs> like we we have kidneys and livers and stuff for that. Well, yeah, but these are like extra toxins that you've put. Like that's something that your liver didn't filter out, I guess. Yeah. Let her believe what she wants to believe. I'm not going to tell her uh, anyways. Besides, I honestly don't know. They. <laughs> I know like, that I have a liver and I like abusing it. I'm only going to say that medical science has not actually like it's not actually propped up anything that claims to as they say, take toxins out of you and instead, if anything, tell you to promote your liver and kidney health. Well, I know every time I, when I did, when I used it the first time, I was like, okay, I don't feel as tired as I did, I will say that, but like, they have some where it's like you put like a small ball, like into your belly button or whatever, and it's supposed to help you lose weight, and I'm like, that looks like a scam. Yes, that does, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a whole Other lot of that. Like, what colloidal silver and the the mineral, yeah. the mineral drink and the, yeah. the jelly, like all of them are are awful. Like if it, all of these pseudoscience things are not just like scams taking money from people, but in a lot of cases they're kind of dangerous to try. So I mean, just yeah. what you're doing, and and yeah, just just like straight up, there's never been any evidence in medical science that you're gonna exude harmful toxin through your skin like your sweat contains like some salt and some water and some hormones but like even your sweat isn't toxins so like that's not a thing i remember in the early 2000s when uh, ref uh, reflexology was a thing and i remember a lot of people uh now having bone problems because of it well like i, I only did it twice so i was just like <laughs> Yeah, I, I had them, so I was just like, huh. And then it's like, well, you can try it on any other part of the body. I'm like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Rodent, in the chat. It turns your skin blue? Yeah, yeah, that's colloidal silver. Yeah, that absolutely. It's not a good thing for you. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't use that. Yeah, it's, it's like literal silver that's been, like, powdered up, and then they put it in this, like, blue stasis material, and... You're supposed to drink it daily, and like the people who were doing it daily for a long time started getting like grayish blue skin, and we're having like you know heavy metal poisoning from the silver. So, mm -hmm. ah, yep. Good thing I didn't go through that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there. I mean, like, dude, like, okay, so like a lot of people feel like chiropractic science, chiropractic science is something to swear by, and like, yo, there's always something for getting a massage or having your you know having your joints realigned a little bit, but I I don't think there's anything to back up like your spine health 
being the only thing that needs to be fixed for your whole body health and that's what like the straight chiropractic guys think like yeah. that everything everything is based in your spine not being aligned properly and that just doesn't make physiological sense you know dude the first time that i uh that i started questioning um uh chiropractic or however you say it um was when they were doing it on kids they haven't even uh, fully grown yet and they they got them on the table so i will say as somebody who worked at a chiropractor (laughs) um the kids are not adjusted at the same pressure that adults are, and they're often adjusted with an activator, which is a low impulse tool. Um, it's there has been studies to show that kids getting adjusted it can improve things like colic. Um, however, again, I'm not one to debate on you know beliefs or understanding, but I do. I do. Uh, strongly believe in chiropractic and what it's done for me and for my husband. I mean, that's fine for an individual, yeah. for for an adult to make that decision. Yeah. You know, that's real good. I think there's a, 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 an inherent risk with kids whose bones are still forming. Uh, Radical says uh, I have an awful back. Chiropractor helps a ton. By no means does it fix everything, but it helps that. And yes, I do believe that. When it comes to bone and joint health, I've got a lot of partial dislocations, my jaw being one of them, and I had adjustments in my jaw with their little tool that, like, Activator, uh, yeah, it's like a little mild punch in the face with a small tool. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, just this last couple of weeks, I mean, I haven't been in almost eight years or so, but the alignment in my jaw is getting really bad again. And I'm, if it weren't for the cost, I would consider going back, but that's another thing too. So I used to work for the joint chiropractic, which is actually a low, basically it's only $29 for your first visit. The single visits are 45, which I, again, depending on bank accounts, everybody's bank account is different, but it is more affordable than traditional chiropractors. Oh, season five of Stranger Things isn't coming out until 2024. I read that. Yeah, no, that definitely makes it more attractive. And yeah, dude, like I, I could do with a good joint alignment too. I know like a lot of my problems are due to bad joint health. And I know that chiropractors, they absolutely know how to help with all of that stuff. I mean, like, because that's that's one of their main focuses. <laughs> So, like, I found out recently that there were, like, straight chiropractors and mixed chiropractors. Ooh. And I had the whole thing of, like, okay, so mixed chiropractic, like, looks at things in the sort of causative situation, you know, mm-hmm. like, basically by using scientific method to find out what problems are, whereas straight chiropractic is more in this concept of, like, following a thing that hasn't been proven and has been rejected by everybody else who does joint science. And make it and 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 then also the concept that I heard, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, supposedly this was information granted to one specific person from, and I quote the other side, and that makes it like since it did <laughs> something that I need to definitely do more uh, more research into before I actually try out myself. For sure, and honestly, it kind of depends on how that specific chiropractor views chiropractic. Because there are more clinical chiropractors, which may be like the more like straightforward. But... Yeah, those, yeah, those are the mixed ones that I was talking about. But yeah, no, the guy, the guy who apparently invented chiropractic said that he got the information from the other side. I can't remember. Yeah. His name, but... I don't know much about that, but what I do know is that at least from my experience with where I worked, it was all about functional medicine. You know, it's about. Yeah chiropractic is not your one-time fix it's not your it's not your um only way of solving any issues i mean you're not going to go to a chiropractor and then miraculously like that one time is going to feel good to you or it's going to be great for you and it's going to resolve all your problems you know it's the combination of all that you do you know whether that's diet whether that's um getting a massage as well. I mean, chiropractic is not going to be the one solve all. Okay. No, I get that. For sure. I like this conversation because most of the time when people 
disagree with chiropractic. I get a lot of jumps down my throat, but my husband is one of the people who was born. He was so my husband was born with a midwife. No way he was born. I know. Right. Can you believe it? <laughs> he proved it last night when he joined discord. Um, <laughs> Whoa. But, right. Out of context. Right. Um, <clears throat> but he was born like, butt first instead of head first. So he's born in breach. Yeah. And um, so when he was five days old, that's when he got his first adjustment. But, oh, wow. um, and he's gotten several different adjustments throughout the years, but um, he's the one that sort of introduced it to me and then eventually got a job at that place for three years. So, <laughs> but I'm the type of person too, like I wouldn't work somewhere if I felt like it was a bunch of bull honky. You know? Okay. Right. I, I wouldn't have done that. Right? I'm trying to think of other words it. instead of saying um, very colorful yeah. language. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I tell you what, if you really want to do that, uh, watch MASH where Sherman Potter yes. is, uh, <laughs> is the colonel. Yeah. He will give you all the substitute ones you can think of. Ooh, that'd be great. I love that show so much. I love it so much. As you know, for the time it was made, it was a pretty progressive show, too. Yeah, it was, actually. I watched that show on the daily when I was a late-night television when I was in kindergarten. And Nick at night. Yep. Uh, I have lost my news. I don't know where it is. wasn't Nick at night. It was, um... I think it was on... Actually, I think it was on UPN. <clears throat> What, Mash? And, yeah, and then it was Nick at Night. So you're telling me that UPN used to show more than just Jamie Foxx and Star Trek? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, and this no. is where I get a CID from Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> like I, watched. I don't know. I just know it was 9 because it was 9 <laughs> Or maybe it wasn't UPN. I don't remember. Because it, it was MASH. Or not. It was Cheers. It's 922. It was so probably else. Oh, what was that? Probably 915, maybe? I didn't have my phone. My phone's been over here the whole time. It might have been WB late night. I don't yeah, know. I think that sounds a little bit more like it. I mean, that was, I mean, that was forever ago at this point. Like, I would watch that. I would watch, uh, like, I watched Frasier. I watched Seinfeld. Like, I went through all that stuff. Mm. At a ridiculously young age, having no idea what anything was about. Mm -hmm. No, I've been there. Man, a lot of stuff for just triggering memories from back in the day. I remember when we got cable, we got had a full hundred channels. It was like, ooh. <laughs> right? 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 Oh my gosh. God. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything else I can do on my eggs because I can't find my glue for these gems. I really want oh, no. to on to me. Well, I'll just just join in the conversation. I ain't ready to end this. Anybody else? I'm not either. But we gotta have something for the viewers to look at. I see a half egg that needs to be done. I dun, dun, dun. The thumbtacks to finish this one. I mentioned that in the beginning, Gray. Well, obviously, I wasn't paying attention, Kitty. <laughs> All right, you two. Uh, Jesus. If I, send you, if I send you one of the sketches of Sage's new project, do you maybe want to start <laughs> the treatment of one of them? I'm sorry, say that again? If I send you one of the sketches that I got from Sage's project that we're going to be working on, do you maybe want to start working up a treatment in one of them? Like an actual drawing or more egg? It's a drawing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, with paper. It's just all like... Ha ha ha. One of these days I'll get a wax. Yeah, let me find it. Jalen Walker was hands up behind now the other thing about when we first got cable it came in this terrible brown wood panel box with red leds on there that would blind you oh i didn't have that mm, that's a nice feeling in the chest that's a weird thing to say <laughs> oh baby what? the best <laughs> god i don't even remember i don't even remember what our first cable company was 
Neither do I. I, I just remember it was the cheapest build, one we had. We had built yeah. south and stuff. The first thing that I explicitly remember getting, like, besides the previous cable, because I was too young, uh, was DirecTV. I had Charter. I don't know if anybody knows about Charter. I remember hearing about them. (laughs) Like, literally, Charter was one of those uh, that was, like, really just terrible it was it's so when you bad live in an area that doesn't get normal internet yeah i've i've been there before yeah same to have charter and then have bell south and then you couldn't even be on the phone and be on the internet Correct. Uh, the we were talking about that earlier when the internet screamed uh, at you Yep, yeah, they would just scream at you, and I'd be like, "Really?" All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a bunch of pictures, and hopefully, you find something that inspires you to draw. I can't find it. It's cold. <laughs> good old, good old <laughs> dial-up. <laughs> Gather around, children, and I shall tell you the story of the dial-up. <laughs> hey, some people still use some people still use that. I think. And... Oh my goodness, it's gonna be 104 tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I just decided yeah. not to take a look at the weather. I just know that's gonna suck. And that's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't need to know how oh, bad it's well, gonna suck. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, hey, hey, you guys, you guys want to talk analog, right? You want to talk analog? Who remembers when a strategy guide was just a spiral notebook full of everything you and your friends could figure out about a game that you all just kept writing down yourselves? I still got a few of those. <laughs> nice. I also still have a uh, blockbuster uh, cheat code book. <laughs> oh my god, I remember that book. Wait, what, 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 wow, I'm just cool. kidding. I'm just kidding. I was I was trying to tell my son and my stepson about what a game genie or a game shark was back in the day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my, my brother, goodness, they're so much better at clothes. My brother corrupted one of his games with a game shark. Oh no. Yeah. I remember when that happened, man. That uh, that was a big deal. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, it was because <laughs> that, like, because yeah, Game Shark and Game Genie, you were not supposed to use those for oh, that okay. reason. <laughs> like, so many people broke their games or they broke their consoles. <laughs> oh man. Okay. It was what was your favorite interest. cheat code? The Konami uh-huh. code. Yeah, of all time, it's got to be Konami code or the Capcom code. Well, I mean, that's one of the most famous, but I'll tell you what code that I remember to this day. It was a PC game called Blood. It was an FPS, and you typed in John Woo, and it gave you uh, dual-wielding guns. Oh, yeah, I remember that. (laughs) My favorite was was Texan. It was kind of of like Doom, but more mystical type stuff. And uh, you type in a doodle doo, and it turns you into a useless chicken that clucks and hops. <laughs> uh, and you let's couldn't see. undo I it. Remember, I remember in Warcraft 2, if you went in the chat box and you typed in UCLA, it would type back at you, go Bruin. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember. Somebody told me uh, that. I was so happy that it actually did it. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's just as good as the first time you type do a barrel roll into Google. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Well, then, uh, oh, uh, the two, rock, two rock dinosaur hunter, the first one on yeah. the uh, the psychedelic god mode where everything would be slowed down and just crazy colors. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that. Well, this or, uh, one, Golden Eye um, 007 Golden Eye, dude, that, that was one of the best oh, game shark uh, experience <laughs> ever. Big head mode in Golden Eye, paintball was, mode, Donkey Kong, yeah, mode. the golden paintball gun. Yeah. That one was great. Yeah, yeah. Jaws, Jaws, like, I seem to remember NBA Jam back on the SNES had a G code that lets you play as Mr. and Mrs. Hit Bill and Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. That was the, that was uh, that was a recent discovery that nobody knew about. Yeah, I never heard of that until recently. Yeah, somebody found that recent, like, yeah. Like in the past couple of years, that was something that somebody found. Yeah, it was an old game informer I got that still has to take out. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you've got uh, my gen, and that was a Sims 2 bull prop testing cheats enabled through. <laughs> mm-hmm. Was that the 
That was the the everything cheat where you could kill your sims. Oh and yeah. Do, and do a bunch of <laughs> back in the day you just had to wait for them to die. <laughs> right in Sims One. Yeah. And then of course in a, like a one by one room. Yeah. And then of course we've all, all the... done really bad things to Sims. Come on. Oh yeah, we have. Oh yeah. yeah. We have. Oh yeah, no, you're completely normal. Nobody second guess yourself. Do it create the storyline. <laughs> And, and then uh, the you would let the GTA. oh yeah, then you would let the graves uh, be outside, so the ghosts would just scare the crap out of the rest <laughs> of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sims is a wonderful and horrible game at the same time. Oh. I still at this say point, that we are Sims because I don't know about you, but I have walked into a room so many times and forgotten what I was there for. And then turned around and remembered I was going to do something else. I swear somebody was changing my like my tact tactics or something. Your task bar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my task glitch thing. in the matrix. <laughs> Al Callie, that was not the hot dog I was trying to give you. That was my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. Uh. Oh. You're good. Uh. Making myself a little snack. Yeah, I should probably eat too. I'm <laughs> gurp here in a minute. I ate today, finally. <laughs> well, I ate all day yesterday. Well, I ate. During, I've been eating during the day now. Did okay. you? Did you say you're gonna have some gurps? Some general role play system? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, grapes. what? It's what my dad calls grapes. Oh, uh, okay. Gurps. 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 Turtle. Okay. I like it actually, trains. We've been watching a lot of ASDF. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? ASDF movies. I like trains. Tom Scott. Yep, that's man. That is a phrase I have not heard in so long. Yes, he but he's made very new one. He's made new ones. He's now up to 14 total videos, man, if you haven't seen any. Please. There, no. I've drawn something. It's an egg. <laughs> I have drawn an egg. Hold up, I need to pull up the stream. <laughs> Give it a face. The prophecy was fulfilled. <laughs> Give it a face, yo. No, what I'm, I'm uh, going to draw a style that Somebody wants me to do on one of the eight inch eggs. Oh, okay. I did send you all those pictures, though. I did, and uh, I showed them on the stream, too. Oh, I can actually tell. That's a really good shaped egg. I can't draw it that. I don't know. It's a little swollen over here. Mass violence, straight up, and racial architects. Yeah. Just overall general discomfort of human life. Just the overall general discomfort of human life. How groups like this, Did they only have to move like You should people that just sit there and talk. I was say, you should tell them that. Oops. So, I've been seeing a lot of like videos of. Um, I don't know if anyone. Oh, how do they? Um, I don't know if anybody else has seen it, but there was a video on TikTok going around where this person who was trans and they literally were like, so this guy, random guy, just walked up, to, walked up to me and and told me that he oh, can't wait for legal to hunt us down, and I'm just oh like, yeah, what? that's been that's been uh, surfing around TikTok for about a week now, and every time I see it, I still can't believe that somebody would be that cruel. Exactly. That's why I'm like, just think about how, like, the people who are in the LGBTQ plus, and it's like now we have to walk on eggshells. Some of us now have to walk on eggshells, but it's like it shouldn't even have to be that way. It should Dude. never have to be that way. Humans suck. Yes, yeah, yes, they do. Pretty, pretty much. Sort of story for y'all today from my husband's experiences today. He was on... So for those of you who don't know, my husband is trans. And 
He was on a phone call today, right? He got a phone call from an agent today while at work, and they were like, oh, um, well, I was expecting to speak to a guy. Um, is Brandon there? And he was like, yes, well, that's me. I'm Brandon. And they were like, oh, okay. I'm confused, but okay. <laughs> On the phone, just because my husband has a more... Um, quote unquote feminine voice so they were so confused and just couldn't wrap their minds around the idea that not all men sound the same <laughs> and see, okay if Bram that's... sorry go ahead that is like the most ridiculous thing it's like with me apparently when I was growing up uh, I didn't know I was supposed to sound a certain way I guess so a lot of people were like and this was becoming from the black kids, mind you. Mm -hmm. And they would be like, you're not, you don't seem black enough because Aww. you talk proper. And it's like, I'm sorry. Um, was I yeah. supposed to talk like this forever and ever? Like I was some dumb bitch who didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. Thank well, God. there goes oh the family goodness. friendly deal. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's how, no, that's how they expect me to talk. And it's like, no, I don't talk that way. I'm sorry. I, did, did you expect me to talk like that? No, not all black people are supposed to talk that way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the stereotypes have got to stop. They do. But they don't. It's going to, and I do apologize for all that. That was supposed to be like, <laughs> I That's forgot. Right. We're at Beetlejuice second. levels. We get one. <laughs> <laughs> we get one, but, but at least you got the concept. Yeah. You know, like, that's like people say, oh, white people, all oh, white people are supposed to sound like, this or whatever they're not supposed to sound a certain way they're supposed to sound this way and it's like how would you even dictate what the hell people are supposed to sound now and they nowadays how do you go about determining what someone should sound like i don't know but speaking of which uh nico tell bran if uh he's feeling uh self-conscious about his voice we'll do a weekend of nothing but whiskey and cigars i guarantee you we'll we'll have him coming out there <laughs> sounding like peter Steele. Well, first of all, have you not heard him? He's losing his voice. Do so you think you're gonna like make him kill his voice after that? <laughs> oh no, we can't have him losing his voice. No, I like when he talks to me and tells me I'm pretty. Like for me, my voice sounds like I am literally probably like in my twenties, but I am not. <laughs> I am not. But a lot of people do say that I have an interesting voice and I can do I could pretty much project it to a certain point to where people can tell when I'm being serious and when I'm not. I mean, even my kid gets afraid of me when I start using my actual voice nowadays and he just looks at me and starts crying and it's like, I ain't even touched you. <laughs> oh, I didn't even commence butt whoopings yet and you're and you're crying. Okay. My nephews, it's the look now. I'm like, mm, you so bud now? She's got the look. You ain't going to bed now? She's got the look. Sorry. The look. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a lie. <laughs> All right. I have, a, I have an idea. Oh. I'm looking for a can of sulfur hexafluoride so the next time somebody <laughs> does that, Bran can just take a quick gulp of that. It's like, sorry, is this better? <laughs> oh, okay. I just found something. This is cool. Ready? Sure. Hear me out. Ready? Mm -hmm. Sure. Rocky Horror Muppet Show. Oh, man. <laughs> Good idea. Right. Would fun. you like to know the response for that question? Uh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, they, yeah I still want to make Muppets Princess Bride. Yes. I'm about to say, apparently somebody already made that movie, though. Want to know what do they called it? Labyrinth. <laughs> no freaking true! <coughs> and Muppets <laughs> in Las Vegas. <laughs> you okay, honey? You just chilling? <laughs> Well, you should go to the gym. You can do it. A Muppet dead. Uh, Alex, you okay? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Look, I'm fine. You'll know if I'm not breathing. Go to Jim. Maybe it's the second one today who couldn't, then. Sorry. <laughs> no, I can uh, breathe just fine. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, but Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are those two guys from the wings. <laughs> the sword's catchy. So smallpox. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. No. By the way, y'all, the text med enchiladas were the way to go. Thank you for your recommendation. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, we can get Bran a 34 liter can for 64 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are go fund me. Ray, talking about specific ways how they can get your voice to drop. <laughs> Sulfur hexafluoride, man. That'll make Sulfur it drop hard. <laughs> that's I mean, fireball whiskey might do the deal. Drag. A good a good brown whiskey uh, should whole, do it. That, you know what? I, I said that first, but somebody said that that was a lot of money to spend on a gag. Who's raining on my friggin' parade? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think you should just use a helium balloon and be like, sorry, is this better? <laughs> no, see, was... we get another can for it, uh, for the curveball. Did you bring her? her... <laughs> oh. I mean, the helium balloon would be funnier. Just saying. It would. They would both be equally funny. Come on. Mm, My son found is... the Kit Kat bar and ate it. Wait, what? Sounds about right. My son found a... Uh, he found the Kit Kat bar. Oh. It's from Halloween 2018, but, you know, it's good. No, no, no. <laughs> I think it was one that, was that she stashed. That his mom, that his grandma stashed, and he just now found it and ate it. <laughs> well, there you go. Now he's going to be up for a minute because it's chocolate, but I think he's fine. I think I don't think he hit his head hard enough to where he could get a concussion because it was the arm of the couch. So it wasn't like <laughs> you know place. some arm couches couches on arm. Well, yeah, what am I trying to say? Your upholster. <laughs> The arms on the couch were not too solid, but they were kind of hard. They are kind of hard. Like, they're not as padded as they should on one part of it. So he ended up hitting that. Oh, so what you're saying is that they're for Mashley Furniture. <laughs> yeah. hey, Pretty much. Let's work up my couch. Hey, oh, well, play. you are in You are in a treat. For, it, it, it's going to fail. I'll just go and say it's going to fail. Everything that I've gotten from Ashley has failed. I have a couch from Ashley, and it's failing. <laughs> I had a bed frame from Ashley. That failed, too. Did you break it? If you look at anything from Ashley Furniture wrong, it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just didn't know if you, you know, accidentally broke it because you were jumping on the bed. <laughs> Probably. I mean, honestly, you don't even need to do that. I mean, you could just send it a cyberbully text message and it just drops. Oh. <laughs> Stop talking about my life. Bed frame just breaks. Bed <laughs> <laughs> frame was like, oh, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, even if you get... Even if you get a desk from Ashley, this moment you try to, you can't, you won't even be able to set it up. It'll be already, it'll already just be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be all missing, be like, nah, not today. That's I don't right. want to be put together today. I'm just going to stay in pieces. My yeah. life. <laughs> I heard somebody say IKEA. They've actually stepped up their game. And at this point, Ashley is like five lo uh, levels below IKEA. I have stuff from I IKEA. Mean that I bought in the early 2000s that is still together. Hmm. See, Ashley and Nokia <laughs> need to partner together. <laughs> so that way, Ashley can be more durable oh, oh, no. and stronger like Nokia. She got the sickness, otherwise she would join bronchitis annually. Ugh. I ah. know the feeling. That's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want it to get in your lungs and go to bronch to go to pneumonia, Dimatap or generic version. I'm out of coffee. 
Wah. <laughs> Wah. That's got to suck in the morning. No, I had a cup of it and I drank it all. And I didn't realize I drank all of it that was in my cup. And now I'm upset because I don't really have that much cream. I have a creamer, but it's Hershey's. And I don't like Hershey's. I like French vanilla or Cold Stone. Or... Honestly, I am such a white woman. I love my pumpkin spice creamer. <laughs> I don't I don't do pumpkin spice. I don't do that pumpkin spice ish. I said ish. There's a difference. Okay, I'm curious what the ish is. It's another form of juju. No, <laughs> it's another it. form. I, I couldn't say the with the S H, so I had left that off and just said ish. Mm, oh, okay. the basic. No, well no, I took off the S H. Put it behind the eye. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Took the TV off. Uh, you know what's easier? Just go to the store, get one of those game taboo, um, and just use the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> right, every time someone says a bad word, just yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> bad word. You know this. It's like I'm sorry, I forgot. No excuses. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, now we're getting crazy. into Brad trade here. No, we're not. Don't say that. You pumpkin spice, only pumpkin pie. I agree. Mm. I love do pumpkin pie. I just like pumpkin. I, I like pumpkin. pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice. Why Give me a gourd and I will eat it. Oh my gosh, you're losing your I'm sorry. I don't do pumpkin anything. Pumpkin's not my thing. And that's okay. <laughs> But 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 I do I do I do love a good cheesecake though. <laughs> Abdullah that was cute. A good cheesecake. That, that was extremely cute. No, don't don't say that. It wasn't that cute. No. It was pretty freaking totally cute. Adored. It's making me and yourself want to make your cheesecake. <laughs> I want so I want Japanese fluffy cheesecake. Yes. Oh, my oh my god! god. I yes. am just getting. I want to see what to make. I want just jiggly keys. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Where? I just want the jiggle wiggles. The jiggle wiggles. The jiggle wiggles. That is, that thing is so complicated to make. Uh, I want someone to make it. I mean, they got, got, and they I got, got the recipe. I took two shots of the recipe. Would you settle for some cheesecake? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you settle for some regular jello? <laughs> That giggles. It's a thickle biggle. <laughs> oh my god. Uh by the way, Nico. Yes. Did you get my uh email yet? Email was sent from Chef. According to Chef. <laughs> Hello, Chef children. Really. Well, this has been a great Tuesday night. Well, is it, I mean, is it yeah. in general? Yes. Definitely been good. It's who because said, I'm who here. Said fireworks at this point. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh, no. Nope. The leftovers are getting rid of them. God. The neighbors are surprisingly quiet. I usually have one that shoots them off all the way to Halloween, but I think even he didn't have the budget this time. <laughs> You know, they had to actually stop the fireworks show here in Fort Worth almost as they started, because the first yeah, thing they did was spark a grass fire. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, there was a lot of grass fires uh, over this last weekend. Gee, I wonder. Yeah. Maybe it has something to do with the hundred plus friggin' weather we've been having. <laughs> and the fact that it hasn't rained since March. It's been raining here. I can send you some rain. Please do. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> If you could send us a monsoon, that'd be great. I had a mouthful of food. <laughs> that was probably he hasn't gotten it yet. That was probably me. I sound like a rock tumbler. Just, just ignore me. No, you sound like a rock fighter. <laughs> Did you hear me, Chef? Huh? Rand said he hasn't gotten it yet. He hasn't gotten it. <laughs> Oh, that's a typical scar. Never in the story much, Kit. Did you check or whatever yet? he's from. A boob? Monsu? What? 
Yeah, I sent it all right. At 754. Let me double check to make sure I typed in the right uh, email address. Make sure it didn't hit spam, okay? I'm brand new to you, so that's possible. Has anyone, has it, is anyone caught up in uh, Stranger Things? Nope. Uh-huh. Nope. But don't oh, you guys need to finish it. it is I am getting some heavy stop. reverb here. Yes, yeah, so lots of echo. Who's on their phone? Me. Oh, wait, I, what? I, I have my phone, but that's only because I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And it's through AT&T. Are you ah, well, what? that's not the problem. <laughs> well, Bash muted and it went away. Bash, turn yours back on and we'll double check. I think it's bad. Is it Bash? <laughs> Probably. I don't hear it anymore. No, it's not. It's not doing it. Yay! It was a oh, glitch in the matrix. Oh no, it's me. <laughs> you think? God darn it! <laughs> it's hey. it's always me. As everybody says, it's always my fault. Nah. No. Stop. Tuesdays You're are my fine. fault. No, wait, no. Mondays okay. are my fault. One night, we're going to do the stream from here. I'm going to set up my N64. We're playing Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, we no. might have mercy upon that, us all. That, that, that is Mario Kart 64 be, is on the Switch, by the way. Shouldn't that be on Thursday night, not Tuesday? <laughs> I mean, we could stream it on Thursday. I don't care. We just All I know is that we're getting together and we're playing N64. And we're doing it old school, Chef, because I miss y'all. <laughs> uh, um, eh. How would uh, that work exactly? No, no, no. I will try to help y'all, uh, help Nigo with the uh, recipes because I just figured out I just sent it to the wrong email. Oh, you sent it to the wrong email? It's yeah, just some dude out there just got a bunch of recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably grateful as hell to have something to eat. What is this? <laughs> dude, these sound delicious. <laughs> they, right. are. they are. All recipes are my favorite website. And that's what I'm sending. He realized he sent it to the wrong email. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right. It's a nice cup of tea. New taste. You old mother, son of a monkey. <laughs> Do I want to go back up to work and watch the movie tonight? No. No. Oh, no, because it's work. It is work. Why would you? Why? Why would you ask that question? I think he well, just wanted confirmation. Well, I mean, that's one thing. I, I, I will. Uh, I will tell y'all. Uh, we'll, we'll. We'll. We'll save it for when the stream is over. <laughs> well, I mean, but okay, here, here's right kind of the it. point. So, so today, uh, the place that me and Nico work at, they sent out a message about a 50th anniversary party. My immediate thought was, no, I don't like you guys. <laughs> I love the people I work with, but I'm not. I'm not going to go to work to try to have fun, especially when I I know for a fact none of y'all know how to hang. <laughs> <laughs> he got it, by the way. Okay, this time he did. Thanks. <sighs> Open those up and tell me which one sounds like you'd be your favorite. I just heard him say something about curry, and I think we're excited. <laughs> that's the curry recipe. Authentic ramen. Most of the stuff I have oh, is chicken God. rice because it's the easiest meat in the world to work with. Yeah, we I haven't had ramen in so long. There's a ramen place that I'm curious mm. to try over in Allen, Texas. It's a ramen slash gas station. All right. What? Wait, what? You heard me right. You should do, you should take a picture of it. I want proof. Right, hold on. <laughs> That seems like a bad idea. I know, right? That's why I'm curious. I'm curious, but not that curious. <laughs> I'm curious enough. I'll go with that right. answer. I am. I, I really am that curious now. Like, I must know these things. Like, like is this a you sure it's not a curry shop? Pretty sure. Excuse me, it's a faux shop. It's uh, they call it. It's called Starlight Station. 
Oh. Okay. This this seems completely out of character, but all right, I'm intrigued. What? But here's the question: Should you trust it? Like, do you trust gas station sushi? I honestly, I, would not, I have no idea. I, I, I wouldn't mean, do that. <laughs> That's just me. I'd rather go to Kroger for my sushi or an authentic place to get sushi. Food chat. I'm surprised Kroger uh, actually has Kroger sushi. Yeah. Yeah, they do actually. <laughs> Yeah, really, there's this place over here in uh, Carrollton. Uh, it's a Japanese restaurant, and they it is some good stuff, man. I mean, they first of all they get me drunk on soju, <laughs> and then they give me what I could have sworn was a baked potato stew with uh, with udon noodles in it. I have to back oh, up. My the order that you said that in is that the order that they give it to you in. I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> okay, just checking. Let's see, what's the name of that joint? Because we need to go there one night. Because they're open until like 2 a.m. That sounds fantastic. Um, well, oh yeah, Yama. That's the name of the place. <clears throat> I haven't heard of that one. All right. They might as well call me my eek because I am tired now. <laughs> so, there's been a good group chat, but I think I am bowing out now. Are you leaving? Good night, Jeff. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Good night, Chef. Good night, you Gray, do me a favor and sound even less convincing next time, would you please? <laughs> Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. <sighs> I am drinking. Nico, we cannot hear you. Oh, what the heck? How about now? Better. Okay. Much better. Hot tea. Much better, love. For Much myself. better. I'm really hoping I'm not getting sick, but my allergies fool me every time. That's why I prefer winter. Mm -hmm. Nope. Every season. Nope. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. Yeah, Doesn't matter what time I'll of year it is, followed by crackle and dead silent. <laughs> Yeah. Well, but a snack exactly. crackle pop. Right, In my I like that color you're using right now, Kitty. Huh? I like that color you're using right now. It's some kind of metallic brick red. I like it. It's you ever mix any of your own paints with something like Perlex? Nope. And Perlex has got some beautiful metallic colors. Can you hear really the really high pitched cackling in the background at all? Nope. Okay, because that is absolutely hilarious to listen to. <laughs> Wait, what? My child is, is ecstatic over whatever she's watching. Oh. It sounds. I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> But I hear yeah, yeah, operatic yeah. music and then him screech cackling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. no. We are the champions, <laughs> my friend. Hey, that is a great, uh, that is a great song. <laughs> it is a great <laughs> song. Um, I love me some Queen. Yes. I hey, love dude. Queen. I get overly excited for when I hear Queen because then I'll be like, much stew buckles. So right. it's like Bohemian Rhapsody is like that one song that everybody 
swears up and down they can do the entire harmony by themselves, but in uh, reality, if they listen yeah, to themselves, right. <laughs> Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, let me go. Be boop. <laughs> <laughs> right. That is like the greatest song ever. Well, especially when you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Sadie. Or just your thing as it comes on. Night. Okay, has anyone seen the boys? Yes. No, not yet. No spoilers. Oh my god. Okay, for those who said no, no spoilers. You have to watch it. You have to. I there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You just have to. Because one, it's it's Amazing. It's fan flipping fantastically awesome. I don't have to. You can't make me. You're not my real dad. <laughs> Fine then, don't. Okay. Then. You're missing out on a lot of stuff. But anyway, for those who did say yes, are we all caught up on on the boys though? Yeah. So far. Nope. No, well you should be. How dare they? We can't talk about it. spoiler alerts. Come on. No, I was just wondering if anyone's seen it. <laughs> Here's another song that you often hear amongst drug people Journey, Don't Stop Believing. Yep. Don't stop believing. Believe in a lonely world. <laughs> it's a midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> Just a city boy. Well, that settles it after us going. I'm getting some reverb. We should totally. totally no, no. I want to do a karaoke. Who's doing that? Scream. It's Bash. I can hear it now. Sorry. It's okay. You're okay, honey. It's like the scene from Scanners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that on the movie list? Yes, it is. Yay. <laughs> but um, no, after we go axe throwing, we got to go karaoke. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, one of the private room karaoke's, not the <clears throat> public ones. We have to find Jason Momoa so he can get drunk with us and drink beers and throw tomahawks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there's it must a chance be done. Uh, Kitty's going to have to change part of her stream to hashtag Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to actively go find him and be like, hey, we want you to throw tomahawks with us and drink beer at the same time. <laughs> Brother, are you ready for trial by <laughs> ox? <laughs> that, that works. That so works. It shall be done. So mode it be. It should be done. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought I changed. Did it not stick? <gasps> no. I changed my thingy and it didn't change it. All right, Kelly, I hear you. <laughs> you think that I that I don't feed you? I'm guessing Kelly is a cat. Kelly is definitely a cat. Yeah, you don't shave your children. I mean... <laughs> Error 404, file not found. <laughs> it, could, it could happen. It could definitely punch. happen. I mean, they could shave their heads. No, this cat actually does need to get shaved because she was never taught how to clean herself. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So she has... Oh, is she a long-haired? Yep. Okay, so yeah. I can understand shaving then because cats who were not, were not taught how to groom themselves and stuff like that will not necessarily... Some, some pick up on that. Some don't. Mm, this on one didn't. I had to teach Jasper how to clean himself. I used a little cat wipes. Apparently, they have those for kitten rearing and such. And uh, just wrapped it around my finger and 
rubbed in like the way the mother would lick or whatever. So good luck doing that with this cat. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was quite young when when I got him and had to start doing that, but he picked up on it. Now he is very clean boy. I don't. I, I don't understand it. But some cats, some are just jerks, and, the, and most times they're just like, "I want to be petted, but just not the way you think I want to be petted." And it's like you can't. It's not like we can read your mind, cat. Cats are. Huh. Can't, I, exa- like can... I want exactly four and a half pets. After that, I will bite. Right. It's like <laughs> not I like you can right warn to us. Mind on that in any any time I want. But yeah, cats are like the epitome of consent. It's great. Yes, it's so strange, though, how cats operate. It's like their oh. minds are just, oh, my goodness. Hey, kids, who is in here? Who's sending $1,000 cash? <laughs> Wait, what about $1,000? <laughs> I need I $1,000. Let me guess. Six chambers, one bullet? <laughs> No, um, so essentially, you'll have to explain it, honey. Come here. <laughs> they heard the one thousand dollars cash, and now they're curious. <laughs> I need to know. So it was a meme on Facebook. It says, "Just want to repeat my standing offer that if you are a restaurant server in D.C. and a forced birth, first forced birth." pro-life person comes into your restaurant and orders chicken, I will send you $1,000 cash if you serve them a plate with a raw egg. (laughs) 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 Well. That is deliciously evil. (laughs) Very deliciously evil. Yeah, that's all it was. (laughs) I like it. Yeah. (laughs) That's something I would do. I'd back. Yeah, no, now everybody's got a bad idea to do. <laughs> I'm going to go do some, I'm finna go do some sketchy-ish do-da, do-da. <laughs> Hope I get away with it. Oh, do-da day. <laughs> I'm going to go do some sketchy-ish do-da, do-da. I don't Isn't... have brown, but perhaps bronze will work. This doesn't work quite like watercolors. This is why I don't paint. <laughs> I got a big giant head. Do the do the. Yeah, the allergies are messing with me too. Getting hit too. If you, if anybody's muted, everybody's getting hit. Doing that. Luckily for me, I'm not suffering like I normally would. Of course, if this was just you know us making noise on a stream, people would have to figure out if we have allergies or if it's a cocaine party. (laughs) But it's definitely not the second one. No, don't do drugs, kids. It's bad for you. You'll end up like, uh, well, you know, if you have anybody who's done drugs before, then I suggest you don't do that or else you'll end up like them, whoever it may be. <laughs> you might end Just up like Jeff Bridges. There we go. I was trying to figure out if there was someone <laughs> like that we could actually sit there and talk mad-ish about without feeling guilty. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. I don't want to talk honestly... about anyone bad if yeah. if they were a good actor. I think Jeff Bridges is a good actor. <laughs> true. That is true. I need to find a beach and stay on it forever. I don't know after a while. I'm not a tropical sort of person. 
I mean, only reason why I want to be on a beach. Oh, uh, just have it all to myself so I could just simply relax. And oh, you want an to island? Do. Yeah, I did, I did. But I want an island. But I mean, I just want to be on a beach. On like, just go to just a random beach where there's like really any nobody really there. <laughs> like this is one of those beaches that hey, we don't. Re- no one really comes to this one a lot. But when they do, it's not that many people anyway to begin with. Almost like a almost like a nude Word. beach that no one really goes to, but. That everybody knows about. <laughs> yeah. I just want to go to a beach where there's like really no one there. And I could just sit in my own little spot and no one bothers me. I went to a nude beach once. It was it looked like a documentary on orangutans. Dude, tell me what in San Francisco I went to one in San Francisco and I was just like dumbfounded. It was cold and it was two guys that were just having a ball, obviously. And I'm just like not in no mm-mm. what like a guy was literally wearing a raincoat but without pants and i was just like I, mm, I couldn't do i couldn't do no nude beaches no more like not in that not in that uh what was it somebody not not that season about nude beaches once like there's only one thing wrong mm. with nude beaches yeah quality control I think that was Ron White. Was it? I think so. Could have been. I think tomorrow I'll take another test just to be sure. Do you need to study? No. Um, my nephew came home the day before yesterday after being with his grandparents for a month and he was running a fever and we decided to test him and sure enough he tested positive for COVID. Oh, of course. And then Grandpa also tested positive for COVID, naturally. But so we're all like, great. Well, I, me and my husband are both triple vaxxed. And knock on wood, everybody. But I, holy shit, poet. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. My cat scared (laughs) the living heck out of me. She was in my windowsill and it looked like in the corner of my eye, something from the outside was looking into my window. <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse my language. Oh my god. Hello, Clarice. Do the lambs still scream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oops, hey, it's unforgivable like that. Woo. Yes. Excuse me. Um, I've been so good, too. Anywho, <laughs> so um, everybody gets one. Yeah, so he. I have yet to spend mine today. Why? <laughs> um, Go through the entire stream. You tell me if I spent one. <laughs> and then, but I, so knock on wood, everyone, I am the only one besides me. So besides, besides my nephew, yes, Caleb, the older one, <laughs> who have not gotten COVID. At this point, I've just accepted it as part of life. Yes, but there's this anxiety of, like, what if I have a, <clears throat> like, what is it called? At-risk condition that I don't know about. Nobody mm. changed the time on that thing, so we did it. What? But I am triple vexed. So I'm hoping. Vex that... life! Okay. Yes. That's, that's the only way to change that time. So, but I That's will... on the Xbox. I tested yesterday, but it's a little too early to test. I know it's on California time. Play just never changed it. But I'm going to double check tomorrow. I think I'm going to test again just to be sure. Yeah, give it about 12 hours from when you last tested. Yeah. Um, Just so I can see. But then it just happened to be... I'm hoping that it just miraculously my allergies decided to kick in. But that's what everybody thinks. When they get COVID, so I'm not gonna. Well, dude, the, the symptoms of COVID, there's like 80 other things that have oh, those man. same symptoms. Like grandpa, uh, the so my husband's dad, uh, he I said grandpa because we have the nephews, but uh, he, they were walking around thinking that he because they were they're from Florida, so there is a recent listeria break in Florida. They were they thinking he might have listeria. Sure enough, he had COVID. 
I think there's something else going on with Murray. He's been able to test positive for COVID for the last two months. He's been having issues since April. Mm. So it could be that he has listeria and Yeah. <clears throat> well, I hope he doesn't, and even though he doesn't know us, we're pulling for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you so much, and I appreciate your love and kindness. I'm, I'm more worried about my nephew than anything. He's four, and um, he was with the grandparents when that deadline passed for his age group. So, but he's to be fair, the kid is acting completely normal like his normal goofball self he just has a fever um yeah, he is not even how to be sick yeah he's, he's not even reacting little crazy man yeah <laughs> and when hi i'm started... andrew and welcome to jackass <laughs> <laughs> there you go there's your and <laughs> does it count if i'm referencing a show yes <laughs> if he happens to start like acting not like himself that's gonna be cause for concern yeah this looks fine honey um guys just can i have another muffin no no okay thank you baby you're the best <laughs> all right i am gonna jump off of here it's 9 16 you're leaving yes i'm leaving i'm extending this one i'm gonna go as long as it takes to finish this painting there you go. All right. Well, good night, Gray. Night, Gray. Night, Gray. Night, good, Gray. Night. good night. They don't have muffins. That's what I tell you. Or was the other one that we bought at Target? It was. I think I'm gonna hop off too. All right. Bye. Uh, good night, Squish. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. You too. You too, lovely. Bye. And then there were three. Who all is left? It's me, you, and Alex. You mean Galax? Galax. Other brother from the same dad. <laughs> he wasn't in Georgia. Oh, he wasn't. He, he's the one with the daughter that speaks three languages. Oh, 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 oh. She's seven years old. Whew. Seven years. I wish I was seven. I wish I could go back and when I was seven years old and learn three different languages. Hi. At the age of seven. We'll work. I need, I need, I need to get him. You need to get him. Daryl. My dad told about some one of these dates when I uh get my truck back. I want to take Daryl one weekend. I'm just like, okay, I mean, like that's not gonna happen because that's not going because. You hadn't been here in how long now? And we don't know what in your is at? No, 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 no. No, he's been here. No, we need address. No, I know. Driver's I'm... license, tag number. <laughs> <laughs> the birth certificate and all. Uh -uh, Firstborn. <laughs> no, no, I'm just like. He can't go. Clay didn't. I didn't let Clay go to anybody until he was talking. Talking words, talking sentences. Yeah. So, no. Christina's going to come over Saturday, trying to go to the game. And she's going to keep him here. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because I don't, like she said, she don't know how uh, Bella, um, baby, baby and, and the Chunky will go. And I, and I respect that. That's fine. I just... Want to make sure she's okay, though. Okay. She came over Sunday, but she just came and picked up her plate. Oh, she was, oh, okay. But she's good. Yeah, because... No. Mm -mm. No, I was just, all I said was, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to entertain you. You say that, like, you've been, you you can go see my brother in that, and that, but you can't come see me, like, I just, yeah, no. I think after I'm gonna hop out in a little bit, not right now, but in a little bit, and I'm gonna take anyway, my yeah. um, bath. Tomorrow, since I'm taking Daryl to Little Clay, 
empty that trash can and put it in some trash bags. Which tra the, the one that's out at the I street. think we've got just some general <laughs> commentary from the background. Some of that wood. Yeah, that's a good deal. The long pieces. Bring it back because I think we're going to need the short. So, how are you, Nico? <laughs> I'm good. Besides my crazy allergies. Yeah. I do think I'm going to take a bath before bed tonight. I haven't taken one in a little bit. I miss baths. I can always no bathtub. I have bad knees and a bad back. Oh, yeah. Well, bad back is part of the reason why I take baths, though, too. But bad knees, that's hard to get out of the tub. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I got the whittle bath. Uh, my dream one day is to have a bath big enough to support size thickness. Definitely. Uh, you may have to invest in one of those bathtubs that are for the elderly, where you walk in and it's got a little door and it's got some seats and it's just like a giant jacuzzi bath. See, so, yeah, I'm not complaining about that. That's nice. Or I also like the clawfoot tubs, like the standalone tubs. Mm -hmm. Those, are Those ones are typically easier for larger people who can um, soak their full body. But are they ever deep enough to cover the knees? Right. <laughs> I look so pretty, kitty. Thank you. My sister is the more artsy one. I don't have the careful hand. However. Oh, I'm getting out of the lines all over the place. I'm just it looks great for my angle. lightning gone. Because that's going to be in black light. Uh, paint. It's going to be cool. Same with the, uh, the lava and stuff. Mm-hmm. I um, finally started with my sewing pattern. Sewing pattern for so it's a mock up, so it's called a muslin. Uh -huh. Um, mock that's what the mock up terminology is, but it's for a pair of leggings. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is my first pattern uh -oh. ever. Somebody hit who the uh, cackler from the other room has graced me with his presence. What's up? I don't think they can hear. How about you play that where it's uh, heard on the stream? Oh, wait, never mind. That'll be copyright. <laughs> nope. That's copyright. Okay, sing it. <laughs> Okay, they heard claps. <laughs> you know, for somebody who wants to stream all the time, he's very shy and doesn't want to get online. Yeah. Silly boy. You can speak. Good night. Well, it's 9.24. This is probably long enough. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for joining. Thanks, Nico. And of course. thank you, Galix. I don't know if you're still uh, yapping with your family, but uh, I, I did have to put you on mute because it was completely not part of our conversation. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Hello, Jasper. Thank you, Jasper. 
he desperately wants to get on this desk. <laughs> and I have way All righty, Kitty. Well, you have a good night, lovely. You too, sweetness. Thank you so much for joining, and thank you to let me just scroll up here. The Dragon Fancy Studios, Gray, Never Knows Best, fourteen oh eight, Radical Rodent, and. Kitsue for joining in the stream. Also, thank you to all of my lovely lurkers hiding in the shadows. Without you, I would have no view count at all. <laughs> and I think I'm going to try to raid Mr. Sweets. See if I can do this right. I think that worked. I don't know. All right, guys. Y'all have a great night.